Hi, my name is Christoph Aschwanden from Novel Master Games. I'm gonna demo the latest update for the animation utility I'm working on. We're gonna use it for animated comics in Retro Commander. And I added comic balloons to the editor. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, basically here I have opened the animation that's already done, but without the comic balloons. And I'm gonna try to add them now. You see the reporter talking. What I can do is I switch the movie to a comic type movie and then I get the option here to add a new balloon. And the lady is talking, what should she say? Welcome maybe to today's broadcast. Here and then we can move the balloon to her mouse. I'm not sure how close we're supposed to go. I think comic etiquette dictates we shouldn't move the tail too close to the lady. So that's what she's talking. Welcome to today's broadcast. And maybe we can add another balloon and merge it together with the other balloon. Um, uh, we, are, we are live from the convention center, for example. We are live. I'm talking, maybe I'm talking live from the convention center. And here we got the second balloon, voila. And now, obviously we we don't want to have, well, we could have two separate balloons connected together. But what might be nice is if we connect the first balloon to the second balloon. So here we have two separate balloons, but we want to merge them together. So what we can do is we go to, for example, the second balloon, and then we join it with the first balloon. And now we have one, big or one larger balloon where everything fits nicely together. We can move them around too as we like. I mean there's the tail from the old balloon that would just merge with the second balloon. But maybe like that is nice. Um, yes. Uh, then we can have several tails too for balloons. Maybe the two guys are talking to each other. Maybe they're thinking stuff. They're thinking it's cold. It's probably winter time, for all we know. And here we want to have two tails. Now we have two tails and it, it's cold balloon. And we give each of the, what do you call it? Each of the officers uh, a little balloon tail. And yes, so that's how it would look. So we have the uh, uh, balloons overlaid of the regular animation. What I haven't done yet is the transitions that the balloons could pop in and out. But I have some other functionality that's available. For example, when the ambulance is driving by, we could maybe output a sound effect. Maybe the room. That would be the sound effect of the ambulance, for example. And we take uh, just caption text. We don't usually, we don't create the extra balloon. So we only have the text. It's a little bit small right now. Maybe you blow it up. I mean, it's bigger now, but the color is hard to see. Place it here, maybe a little bit smaller. And what we could do is we could probably do an outline. So we do a text outline from maybe yellow to red. We can have gradients. We need to make it a little bit smaller to get the gradient properly working. And also we set the inside of the text to transparent. So now when the ambulance is driving by, we output the broom effect. And what we can do is we can start it at different times and then did at different times. So the effect would only show up when the ambulance is driving by. I know it's not it's not great how I'm doing that here. Also the transition is missing. It should pop in and out. What we can do is what we can do is we can actually add effects to the text. Here we have a list of effects. So one could be we have shaking text. So what we do is we simply enclose the text into a 
the corresponding wipe tags and now the text will be shown as shaking and the text disappears once uh, the ambulance is gone so the text only shows when the ambulance is passing through and yes that's it uh, we can also have the text in the balloons with different colors we can have gradients we can also change the outline of the balloons for example we can make the outline bigger for example 5 pixels or we can add a dash around the balloons if that's needed the dash doesn't look too great on the image now but I think if the white background is white it looks a little bit better and we can also change the text to regular text non-cartoon non like text um, yes that's it that's how it basically works how you add uh, balloons to uh, animation and uh, then later I'm maybe gonna show you also how to animate the balloons with the transition effects popping in and popping out or fading in and fading out anyhow that's it thank you for watching